Hello, hello, and welcome back to Let's Make a Meal. <laughs> For our meal today, we are coming back to Home Chef. We have the salmon with brown butter tomato relish. If you saw my other Let's Make a Meal, you will know that originally I was going to be making this, but I lost these other ingredients and I only had the salmon, but I found them, so we're gonna make them. So this meal is about 25 to 35 minutes. Cook within three days of getting it. It is an easy meal and it is not spicy. So let's get started. Well, let me show you what we've got. So we've obviously got our salmon. We've got our tomatoes, some spices, or maybe this is mustard. Mustard. This is Italian parsley. Focus. There we go. Butter. Garlic, my fave. And the spice. All deliciousness. Let's make a meal. To begin, we are going to put our wild rice in one and a half cups of water. And we're just gonna let that sit in there. Ooh, that looks like a lot of water. But we're gonna let that sit in there until it starts to boil. And then we're gonna cover it for about 20 to 23 minutes. Next, we are going to have our tomatoes, mince our parsley, and mince our garlic. And I've got the rice on low simmer. Now that our tomatoes are halved, our parsley is minced and our garlic is as minced as I can get it, we are going to put our salmon into the pot with some olive oil. We're going to add our salmon and skin side up. You can also take this time to season your salmon. So I'm going to use a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and a little bit of onion powder. Woo, it's popping, y'all. Literally. Oh, that was a lot. It's okay. We remove the salmon. We have our pan on high. Now we're going to add some butter. There we go. Add some butter. And we're going to let the butter get brown. And then we're going to add our tomatoes, parsley, and garlic. And that's going to go for about a minute to two minutes. We're going to let that sit in there. And then we're going to add in the mustard. I've got my tomatoes, my garlic, and my parsley in with the butter, and there's also olive oil in it. It said add more, like a te uh, teaspoon, tablespoon of garlic, I mean, um, olive oil, but there was already so much olive oil in here, I did not add any more. But we're just going to mix this around for about a minute, just two minutes, let it get all nice and cooked up. Yummy. So now we are going to add in our mustard, which this is not coming up. Okay. Mustard all nice and mixed up in there, and then she will be done. And here is our finished meal. It smells so good. 
Looks really yummy. I'm excited to taste this, so let's give it a taste. I tried to get a bite with everything on it. Oh, it's steamy. You can even see it in the camera. I tried. Hopefully this is not too, too hot. Here we go. Oh. Oh my goodness. This is so. It's so good. It's so good. Oh my god. Like, to be honest, like, I want to ask my roommates if they want to try some, but, like, I, I also don't want to share. Like, it's that good. Like, mmm. I think I'm just going to keep this one to myself. Sorry, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this make a meal let's make a meal <laughs> um i just realized like on the last one i didn't put like all the ingredients and like the recipe down so i'm actually going to do that on this one and i will also do that on or on that one and i will also do that on this one if you guys want to create this meal it's very delicious so if you want to you can try out home chef the link will be down in the description and thanks for watching don't forget to hit that like button subscribe leave a comment and that's a wrap